Hi guys and welcome to episode 41 of Kent Walks. Um, today we're doing a five miler ish, I think five and a half miles maybe, um, from Westerham. Uh, I've parked in the Darren Valley car park and just around the corner is Quebec House, home of Westerham's General James Wolfe. Born in 1727 and baptised in St Mary the Virgin Church, which I'm hoping to visit in a few minutes, he's largely remembered for training reformations in the British Army and sailing up the St Lawrence River to capture Quebec City during the Seven Years' War. After a long siege, Wolfe defeated a French force under the Marquis de Montcalm, allowing British forces to capture the city. Wolfe was killed at the height of the Battle of the Plains of Abraham due to injuries from three musket balls. There's a statue of him on the green, which I'll show you in a while. Another statue that sits uh, on the green is that of Sir Winston Churchill, which uh, Westrum's probably a little bit more known for. Um, also in the same church as uh, James Wolfe's baptism is a hanging sanctuary lamp that was given to the church by Winston's wife Clementine in 1950. The same church was used to baptise Churchill's grandson, Jeremy Barnard Soames. From the car park, head west along the road to Westrum Green. Cross the A25 and follow a footpath south between buildings. At the end, turn right and flank a stream west. At the end, head south uphill on an enclosed path through the Squarries Estate, past a rather unnoticeable hill fort and through Crockham Hill Common to arrive at Hosey Common Road. Cross the tarmac and head up and over Mariners Hill to appear by Chartwell. Head north up the road to pick up a path on the right that initially heads very steeply up to level out and wind through the trees to French Street. Head past the buildings before turning hard left and meander through the woody Hosey Common. At the road, cross straight over into Towerwood and turn right at a T-junction. Follow this path north as you climb and the views back to Westrum open up. Follow your nose, back to the start. Sir Winston lived at Churchill from 1922 to 1964. Churchill actually sold Chartwell to the National Trust in 1946 when a consortium of his friends funded the purchase providing the Churchills were permitted to retain the lease for life. Lady Clementine Churchill surrendered the property shortly after her husband's passing in 1965. During the Second World War, due to its proximity to the continent and knowing how much of a target it would be, the Churchills vacated. I've got a time ticket to visit the house, so um, hopefully we can time the walk to be there just, just about right. And there's more. British record producer and songwriter Brian Higgins and his Xenomania production team called the old vicarage here home, where they produced hit singles and albums for artists such as Girls Aloud, Kylie Minogue, Sugar Babes, Pet Shop Boys, Texas and Franz Ferdinand.